Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So it is Friday, so instead of doing like a spend the week with me, it's gonna be more like a weekend. So uh, I'm starting it on Friday because I do have a Botox appointment um, this morning. So I'm gonna be bringing you along for that. It's been a long time. Anyway, so I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for that. And then tonight I am also meeting a good girlfriend um, for dinner, which I haven't done since Amelia's here. So i um, really excited for that. And then just coincidentally, Adam has a dinner date tomorrow. So um, kind of just like switching off. So yeah. Hi guys, so I'm here. It's early morning-ish. And I'm at Skin Spirit today to get some Botox because right when I was due, I was pregnant. So, and Amelia's now seven months old. So it's been a long time. So I've been getting Botox like two to three times a year since I was, I think 27. Um, so now it just seems like a silly time to stop. <laughs> so yeah, my appointment's in five minutes. I just found amazing parking, which is always a huge win. And this time I wanted to bring you guys in and actually show you. So yeah, you'll also get to meet Kelly, who is my absolute favorite. She'll definitely tell me when I don't need something and she's like really subtle and yeah, love that about her. So let's go in. This is Kelly. She does my injectable. She's amazing. Hi, I'm a nurse practitioner at Skin Spirit here in Oakland, Montclair Village, and Presidio Heights in San Francisco. Yeah, I'll leave all of her information in the description down below. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> okay, skin is cleansed and prepped. So we're gonna be doing some Botox on the forehead. Might be getting a little bit to help these dips here. We'll see, we haven't decided. guys we did it it'll just take a couple of days for that Botox to kick in and I asked her about some filler under my my collars she said I didn't need that yet but I did have this like funny little dip here that she recommended that I fill that a little bit in and she said that that would kind of help soften so obviously right now I'm a little swollen we did that and the Botox and then we did a little bit of Botox in the crow's feet area. So I'm gonna go home, wash my face, um, and then show you the results in a couple of days. now Saturday afternoon um, we went out had some brunch 
And then Adam had some errands to run, so we did that with him. And he is now at out for dinner with one of his coworkers. So since I'm on my own for dinner today, um, I'm gonna be making myself a salad. Um, we have some leftover grilled chicken breast that we had here today for dinner. So I'm chopping up some onion because to me a salad without onion doesn't taste good. They've also just hard boiled some eggs, just always good to have. Um, so I've got my onion going in here. This is our leftover chicken breast that I made the other night. And I have my salad base going on here, just some butter lettuce and then some mixed greens. And then I might top that with maybe a little feta, maybe a little garbanzo beans. But yeah, it feels super early because it's so like bright out still. Um, but I'm at that like point of like I'm hungry and I thought about just having a snack and then having dinner later and then I'm, I was like, that's just going to ruin it. So what I'm gonna do is just make a really good salad and if I get hungry or later, I'll just have some more salad. <laughs> so now that I have stopped nursing, I feel like I'm finally starting to kind of like look at what I'm eating and finally like getting into like like a more of a workout routine and, and just focus a little bit more on my fitness and you know, looking to get back to like my pre-baby weight. Um, I definitely told myself throughout the whole pregnancy that um, I would give myself like a whole year to like get back and really just like not put any pressure on myself, like not worry about it. Um, and that's exactly what I've done. Um, I haven't dieted in any way. I feel like when I was pregnant, I ate essentially what I wanted without like caving into like unhealthy cravings and stuff. I've mentioned in the past, for me, it's absolutely easier to maintain weight than it is for me to lose weight. So my goal was to just be as healthy as possible during my pregnancy so that it would be, you know, easier later to kind of get back. So now that I'm no longer breastfeeding, I feel like it's time for me to like focus a little bit more on my diet. And now that Amelia is a little bit older, um, I do feel like we're getting more into a routine, which in a way, like, I feel like I have a little bit more time that I can kind of dedicate. And um, just to kind of like think about it and because essentially eating healthier, I don't think necessarily takes more time. It just, Millie, my sweet angel. It just requires planning, I feel like. So um, like going out to get takeout takes the same amount of time or more than, you know, taking out vegetables from the fridge and making a salad. Um, the point is having fresh ingredients at home, obviously. Like going to the grocery store, that takes time. So again, it's just like planning ahead. And again, when I was breastfeeding, I remember like, I think a week I like tried to do like more like low carb and my milk supply was really low. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat what I feel like eating. Um, but now, I don't wanna say there's no excuse because I wasn't using it as an excuse. But now it's just time to buckle down and just get a little healthier, so. All right, here's my salad. Some chicken, hard boiled eggs, some garbanzo beans, and basically I just dressed it with a little bit of olive oil, um, rice vinegar, and no, a little bit of olive oil, champagne vinegar, and some salt and pepper. promised that he would leave by 11 Did he? and come home to make me a gin and tonic. But not just any gin and tonic. So I'm, collect gin. I'm collecting gins now and <laughs> we have never tried this. So it could be absolute trash, but who really knows? It's from India and it's somewhat fancy. I love gin, but I feel like we fell out of gin for like five years so at least. So we buy fancy gin, then we buy tonic in bottle and then we need herbs. So we have thyme and we have some lime and we have some big ice cubes and a wine glass and we'll see what happens.
Wow, we. Are you looking for your ball? Is there one outside? We're gonna cheer you. Do you know which one's which? I want to say. So this is what happens is when you shuffle them and you have no fucking clue what you're doing. Right, you completely forgot to. Because the whole point was. Oh, this one's just kind of smells like alcohol, honestly. No, it smells the opposite. That so? one smells like fragrant. Okay. That one smells like alcohol. Okay, let's see. That one smells like almost nothing. Oh, you're right. This and one's that, very yeah. perfumey. Yeah, you're kind of right. So it's this one. This one's absolutely this one. Fucking hell. Okay, so I'm gonna We're, taste this uh, one first. We're doing well, by the way. <laughs> and we're sober. But look how pretty these are. Very beautiful. <clears throat> Could use more buttony. Yeah, it's very like sweet. Mm. Let me taste that one. I think I'll like this one more. Oh, there's no gin. I like this one more. It's not enough, there's not enough gin this no. time. But I don't know which you is which, wait. so I don't want to add more gin. I'm positive this one is this. Doesn't trust me. I am not positive about that. The smell is identical. But I, you know, I put a whole shot and a half shot in each. But you, the issue is you put way too much tonic. You put, you put a whole bottle? This much? It's a lot. At a bar, you would get like half of that. With Tia's meal. Just add a little bit more gin. Nilly, did you just get your weekend coffee? Hi. Yeah. Cheers. Hi. Are you cheersing with that? Yeah. Dad, do you want to tell everyone the story of your bagel? Oh, they have an ice here. Used to be the world's best sandwiches, now the world's worst sandwiches. Now they're still good. So we just had a bagel at Boyk Chick Bagel in Berkeley. They voted the best bagels in the country. $46 for two large bagels with coffee. Repeat 40, that. <laughs> $46. Two bagels to go. It's, it's, not a, it's not a sit down place, it's a bagel shop like you see in New York. $46 for two bagels. $46. You guys, we finished eating 10 minutes ago. Do they you think I've stopped hearing about it? <laughs> they're delicious bagels, but I mean, there's reason and then there's, you know. But like, they're like women owned, women made. Um, they make their cream cheese from scratch. They smoke their own salmon. $46. Pork chick bagels, voted best bagels in the country. Do you want to move to Berkeley? Yeah. Do you want to move to Berkeley? $4 million. $5 million. $4 million. Free. <laughs> Do you think it's free? Then look at you. Hi, Mili. That is so lucky, huh? With these free girls. Yeah. <laughs> Even others not free. Oh, others right. He's at it again. Everyone tells me all the time, you're so lucky Adam cooks so much. Yet you have video every day of Adam cooking, so there's gotta be some truth to the madness. You grill at least once or twice a week, but in terms of actual like in the kitchen cooking, you don't that often. This is the Adam and Sylvia pasta competition. Um, so I have my world famous pasta recipe. <laughs> world renowned. Renowned, acclaimed. <laughs> Uh, but but Adam, now, but Adam swears he makes a better pasta. I think I make a better pasta. So it's wow. I only take pride in my pasta recipes <laughs> and nothing else in the world. And you're taking that away. It's only uh, mainly the main, my main point is I bought these rigatoni. Rigatoni. Those are rigatonos. Rigatonos from an Italian that. market. So I want to try them. And then all you need is some Marisano tomatoes, most important. Basil, ton of garlic and some ground meat, and it's gonna be legend, and a ton of garlic, I think is the key word here. It's gonna be good. Can't wait. So, the last time I think Adam made a, uh, what's it called? Bolognese. 
Uh, and Yes is my, my world famous. That's the. That's my, what he says, but he, he doesn't make it Italian. Really really he makes a great. It's more chili to me than it is a bolognese. No, but it's, it's not. delicious. It just doesn't scream Italian flavors. He puts like rosemary. What did we call it? It's your Mexican Americalian. Mexican Americalian. Because he puts like. I, I don't know. It's like chili, but then it's like Australian American. It's it's delicious, but to me, it's not an Italian. Oh my gosh, that knife! No, <laughs> and he's trying to have eye contact with me as he does it. <laughs> That's it. I think we're gonna have a finger bowl we're gonna have a, tonight. <laughs> a finger ricatoni. It's gonna. You won't be able to see it because it'll slip right into one of those. <laughs> ew! Ew! Uh, Okay, so you're starting off with the sauce, I'm assuming. So you're just gonna slow simmer these. This can will end up being one ounce of sauce. I know. Adam you gotta slow simmer everything for like down. three hours to get the taste, the flavor of glory. And then of course, like some thyme from the garden because you can't make Italian without thyme. Mm. And thyme. Exactly. <laughs> and we have some really shitty leftover red wine that's gonna go in it. Let's see what we have in there. It's actually... Oh, oh, we do have a red wine that I would so be we have like wines we don't like <laughs> leftovers. I labeled it cooking. <laughs> it cooking wine because it was terrible. terrible. So uh, they go in a bolognese. Perfect. By the way, don't buy this wine. Sear the meat separately, otherwise you end up with boiled meat. Do you want to stir? Is Millie taking credit for my pasta? Of course. That's some bullshit. Wow. Stir. Good job. There's pasta. Pasta. You said basil. You do want to smell it? Smell it. This is for eating. Let it taste it. Maybe she'll love it. No, no, Did you wash these? Yeah, actually. No, actually. Deglaze the meat pan. In with the good stuff. And then, in with all the meat. And then, simmer for at least two hours. Two hours later. Basil doesn't go in until everything is done. When boiling pasta, make sure to boil a giant fucking pot of water because otherwise the temperature goes down when you put in all your glorious pasta. Right? Did you Google that? You no, I was like. Pasta in your life. <laughs> oh, yes. The glory. Oh, no. Get a cup full of that glorious starchy goodness pasta water and dunk it in your glorious goodness pasta. I mean, you know what I mean. I think we can even take another little bit. Get your mandatory spider. I might have just offended every Italian person, but I like it mixed and not layered. Pecorino Italiano, mucho grande. Santo Pecorino. Santo Pecorino. This is yours, by the way. How much oh do you want? Oh my gosh, no, that's yours. It's perfect. I don't like mountain. I wish they had filmed your hand doing this. Sure. Adam gets on me every time. He says that al dente is stupid and it, nobody should eat al dente. This is the most al dente pasta I've ever had. It's not that al dente. It's a little too al dente for me, but you love it. And look at me just catering to all your needs and wants. On accident. <laughs> What is your verdict of my pasta? The wine is delightful. Is no. the wine delightful? <laughs>
No, the, the rigatoni and the ragu you slaved over. Is at least a two out of ten. It turned out it turned out well. Cheers. It's a monkey butt. Cheers. Hi. Are, are you checking to see if it's hot? I taught her that. Hot. Yeah. It's not hot. It's not. It's not hot. Do you want to hold it all by yourself? No, I don't think she does. No, no. Look at her. No, look what happened? Such... What happened last time? I'm very proud. What happened last time that happened? Last time she held it was with you. So. Yeah, and we lost the shirt. <laughs> look at her. Look at her tongue through the glass. Really? <laughs> Did you see the tongue? No, no. <laughs> Millie, were you successful at wine? No, you were not. We're the best parents. She didn't touch the wine. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you want the wine? God, don't take my wine. Millie, that's how I feel right now. You can see the, this is the greatest. You can see the mouth like. Millie, that's how I feel right now. Yeah. No, you might just make a Hi guys, so it is the next day and basically it's been exactly a week since I had uh, my Botox done. So as I said, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So some movement I have. Um, I just feel like looks so much smoother and i had thought about getting some like jawline filler just to kind of get more like definition and basically she talked me out of it which um i'm now happy that i listened so amelia was napping for like an hour and a half and literally woke up 30 seconds before i clicked record so i'm gonna go hang out and thank you for joining me on this fun botox and Bolognese vlog. Hello.